1995 Mercury Sable SL, I believe. The light pollen haze on it um, is caused from being parked underneath an awning. I haven't been driving it for a few weeks. Um, it's ready to go on the road. Uh, even You can even pull your little boat here. It's all wired up and ready. Uh, one and seven eighths inch hitch. Um, the trailer kind of damaged my light here, or the boat rather. Um, this was a little bit um, messed up whenever I got it. It was just primered and so I got some paint that was supposed to match and as you can see there's a quite a bit of a shade difference there. Um, the wheels cleaned up nicely. Um, there's a little bit of a dent from when a deer hit me. Um, kind of odd but uh, I was driving down the road and a deer came out of nowhere and just hit the back door so um, it's got another little dent right there. Uh, three of the tires are fine. Uh, I'm sorry, two of the tires are great. Um, two of the tires are on their way out. Um, yeah, I mean, you got a little bit of, a little bit of damage there. Um, I mean, but this is a pretty solid car, especially for a thousand bucks. Um, power windows. Um, all of the uh, windows work. Roll down. This guy back here. Whoops. There you go. Let me get that one back up over there. Uh, under the hood and the trunk. We've got another uh, used tire ready to go on it. Uh, I can get that mounted on whichever one. I, I normally just uh, do my tires until they. <laughs> They about pop, so um, I haven't decided which which of the two to replace yet. Um, and it has a donut too in there, so I mean, and I've got an extra donut if you want to go with it. So monitor not included. Um, the interior is great. I mean, there's some stuff I kind of left behind, but. You know, it's a little a little shampooing would do wonders for this car. The hood doesn't really stay up by itself. Um, it's got those little shock absorbers there, but they don't really, they're kind of worn out. Um, it's a 3 liter V6. Um, I'll have to look and see how many miles around. I think it's like 153,000 or something like that. I forgot whether or not I replaced the filter in this with a K&N filter. I forgot. So, um, cold engine. Uh, about to start it up for you. Belts are good. Um, I don't remember if I replaced this alternator or not. I don't think I have. But. Now, this ignition kind of messed up on me. Uh, in fact, when I first got it, um, the previous owner had, the car just stayed running, so I took the old one out, it, it kind of busted whenever I took it out, and I bought a new ignition with a key for it, but I haven't quite, you know, it fits in there, you just saw it take it so, so now I have to use this guy to start it, but... Starts, it hadn't been started in a while, so, and it's real low on gas, but, uh, no air conditioning, but, you know, the vent and stuff works. And, uh, in fact, um, the compressor itself is what needs to be replaced. The, here, I'll show you. Oh. Well, I guess I'll leave the engine running, so, probably got it on camera. The... We had to bypass the compressor. Can't even really see it. Eh. 
I think you can see it, but I had to bypass the compressor and put a different belt on it. Um, and that's when the, because the air conditioner compressor like just locked up and it shredded the belt. So instead of replacing the compressor and the belt, we just replaced the belt. Um, just keep it running. So a new compressor and a recharge would, would get this guy going. Oh, um, 153,939 miles. Um, gets great, great gas mileage. Uh, power seats. Okay, make sure those work. Okay. It tilts. I mean, it's, it's not a glorious, you know, ride, but it's a thousand bucks. I mean, can't beat it. Well, you know, that thing goes back in. Those, there's two, there's two wires that I reversed in there that whenever I put, I have attempted to put this back in there. I got it all put, put back together, and it turns out I reversed two yellow wires, which basically means when, well, I'll show you. It's still, I can still replicate what it's doing. Da, 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 da. I can remember how to do that. This fits in there a little certain way. I just had it. I'm gonna put the camera down real quick. I have to look at the little spline. Okay, there we go. Got it back in there. So what actually is going on? You see this clock? Okay, I'll, I can tell by the. Okay, so we got everything running right now. Well, when I turn the key forward. It turns everything off and whenever it's on see that that should be starting the car right now when in fact that's turning everything off so let the key release clock turns on turn the key forward everything turns off so there's the two yellow wires are reversed in there I just didn't want to take the stupid thing apart again but if I have a buyer that says hey I'll I will buy your car if you fix that. Uh, here's a thousand bucks, then that would motivate me. But for right now, I don't really care. Um, so, cruise control works. Um, what else? What else would I want to know about this car? Uh, here's a key to the, the, the trunk locks. So, push that and you can't open the trunk. The gas thing, I have to pull up on this. To open up the gas uh, door or whatever. I forgot which key it is that unlocks this. Here, there it goes. Unlock trunk. Boom. Trunk unlocked. Um, so I got pretty much all the uh, all the keys to it. Um, that's all I can think of. I mean, it's it's a good car. So let me know if you're interested. Um, I'm just I'm making a Craigslist ad for this, so um, but it is what it is. Uh, 95 Mercury Sable with do I have the title in here? I don't know if I put the title in here or not, I have the title. I mean, it's a clean title, so it's been registered. It's it's in my name. And I'll just sign it right over to you for a thousand bucks. So thanks for looking.